mid-June, I thought it'd be a good time to finally introduce the solar system that we have powering the geothermal greenhouse. I can tell you, for as long as we have wanted to do a geothermal greenhouse, we thought that it would be great if its primary power source was from the sun and solar, and the backup power source was from the power company. And so we've got solar powering the greenhouse now. It's doing a great job. It's a 6,000 watt system. Six panels, 275 watts each. Six lithium 12 volt batteries. And uh, so to show you a little more about it, we, we built a structure. We wanted to have a structure next to the greenhouse just to be able to put equipment and material things that we wanted to have near the greenhouse but not in the greenhouse and we built the structure with this south facing roof designed for solar panels if you were just doing a solar system for your greenhouse you know we thought can we mount it on the greenhouse we just didn't feel like there was anywhere where we could mount it so we decided mounting them by the greenhouse and uh, as far as the structure goes, most of the materials are materials we had here. This aluminum siding is from building the greenhouse. Railroad ties, we have a bunch of them around because we are next to a railroad and somehow we just have a ton of railroad ties. Did have to buy a little bit of wood framing. These two by fours, they're like gold today, as you know but uh, we bought them a long time ago. And uh, basically, we just drilled holes in the bottom of the roof, two panels each tied together into cables, brought the cables here along the uh, bottom of the roof, and then they drop into this pipe. We had some leftover pipe from the geothermal on the greenhouse. So we put it underground. It goes into the greenhouse right there in that corner to the side of the door underneath it. Again, it's a 6,000 watt system. It's a pretty slick little system. Everything is right here. The batteries are actually on the bottom shelf. This is the top shelf, which has uh, the inverter, the charger, uh, the charge controller. This little monitor is how we know how we're doing here and it's showing a full charge. When the big fans go on to cool the greenhouse on these hot summer days, we're about mid 90s to 100 uh, today, uh, we see a minimal drawdown, which is quickly charged back up. Just peek real quickly inside the greenhouse. See, the fans aren't on right now, they're running intermittently. We've got a canopy that I think is really helping us keep this greenhouse cool. Um, if you can see the pond and the waterfall down on the end there, right there but it's uh greenhouse is doing great and uh if you think about it geothermal doesn't use a lot of energy we've got a couple of fans in here the two big ones run in the summer the small middle one runs in the winter we've got a um, blower on top of the geothermal that's inside the main part of the greenhouse and we've got a couple of lights that we never turn on this guy right here and another light, dusk till dawn light right there on the outside of the door. A pump in the sump for the pond. And that's it. There's not a lot of power. Guess I had to show you the, um, here's where the power comes in from the panels. And then we basically just plug the solar in right here. Goes over, plugs into the wall what I do is I turn my main breaker off, that's the power company right there, and then I've got this far left breaker is switching the solar on. And that's how we could move back and forth if we wanted to. I would love a system that just naturally, if the batteries drop down to 20%, switched over to the power company. Um, didn't know how to do that. At some point that would be the way to go in my opinion, so you're not having to worry about if the solar is holding up okay. That's just a quick tour of the solar. We'll monitor it. I'm not ready to recommend it yet. There's the fans just kicking on, if you can hear that. Um, 
people are going to ask cost. I spent about $7,400 on the solar system. I bought it a year ago, luckily, because I noticed the price has gone up quite a bit. That is the solar system. We'll monitor it, give you feedback, and uh, hopefully at some point we can recommend um, a specific solar system for greenhouses, but this 6,000 watt system is doing a great job on this geothermal greenhouse. That's the update for now.